Hi guys, my name is Emily, and today I'm here to talk about Revival by Stephen King. This was released November 11, 2014, and it is Stephen King's latest work. Revival tells the story of Jamie Morton, writing his own account of the journey from innocent little Christian boy to former drug addict at the end of his life kind of thing. Not that he's dying, but that he's older and reflecting. Morton shares with us specifically the interactions with his fifth business, Charles Jacobs. Morton first met Jacobs when he was like six years old and at the time Jacobs was the new minister for the Methodist church that the Morton family attended. Jacobs sort of ends up choosing Morton as his favorite youth and kind of makes Morton privy to some of his electrical experiments, like the electrical Jesus that he makes that looks like Jesus walking on water, but it's really like an electrical trick. After Jacob suffers a personal trauma, he gives a terrible sermon that gets him fired, and Jacob's is out of Morton's life for quite a while. Fortunately slash unfortunately, Morton does run into Jacob's again at another point in his life. The encounters that Morton has with Jacob's affect the rest of the story, how the novel plays out, and I'm not going to say anymore because I don't want to ruin it. You'll have to read it for yourself if you want to find out about the various interactions between Morton and Jacobs that culminate in the classic Stephen King paranormal occult spooky ending. Things that I liked about the novel. I really liked Jamie Morton as a character. I felt it was very well written. Mind you, I've only read the book once and I read it very quickly very very quickly. When I was reading I was interested in the plot, like what was going to happen? What is Jacobs doing with this electricity crap? More so than the characters and their interactions. That might sound bad but that's just what I was looking for from my first reading of this book. So Jamie Morton felt well developed enough, he felt relatable, he felt real, so I liked him. I also really liked how the title came into play in multiple ways. Like sometimes you'll read a book and the title won't come into play until like one liner at kind of like the climax of the book and you're like, okay, that's nice. But I liked that the title, Revival, comes up in different places in different ways, slightly different meanings right up until the ending, which I really liked. I feel like the one thing I'm gonna say is that the ending was not what I expected at all. Maybe I'm a little more perverse. So I spent the week reading this novel, right? And I got to the part where I knew it was the big reveal and I didn't want to start reading it and not be able to finish. So I put my bookmark in and I waited until last night, which was dumb because I had to get up early. But based on what I had read before, I thought I knew what was going to happen. I thought I could predict the kind of paranormal ending that was going to happen. Boy, was I wrong. Normally I don't film a video right after I've just finished something, but it's a new release, so it's nice to get on top of the review right away. This time, it's like literally the next morning after I finished the book, I am reviewing this. To you, hello. I haven't had time to let this really sink in and to really think about it, but my impression right now this morning is that I don't know. I don't know if I like the ending. I'm really curious what other people have to say about the book. Did you like the ending? Was it what you were expecting? So if you have read, Stephen King's Revival, I look forward to talking with you. And if you haven't, you should go read it because it was really good. I really liked it. I will probably give this four to five stars on Goodreads. And when I rate a Stephen King, I'm rating it in relation to the other books I've read by him, opposed to just books at large. So I think in the grand scheme of all of Stephen King's books that I've read so far, it's a four to five. Go read it, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.